Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how you can display system usage without software on Windows 11. Right click on your start button and hit Task Manager. Inside here, this is your Task Manager. You can see we have some performance on here which we can monitor. But how can you monitor this from your taskbar or system tray on a constant basis? Let me show you how we're going to set this up. So this will be visible down on the system tray. So what we need to do here first is go down to the settings here. This will also work on Windows 10. And what you need to do is come down to where it says hide when minimized. So click on this one here. And now we've got that check marked. We can close off the task manager. And what we need to do is set this up so it will show in the bottom of the system tray here. So now we've got that done, what we need to do is hit the start button and open up a notepad. So from notepad, what we're going to do is type this out, start space forward slash min and in space task MGR, just like this, all one word. Once you've done that, click file and save as. Go to your C drive here. So click on C drive, right click in that little space there, go new folder. And what you want to do is type in here, say task MGR, and that will give us a folder. Open that up, and now we need to make this a batch file. So what we're going to do is take out the first part of the name here. So we can just leave the name task MGR, and then change the dot text to dot bat, and then change it all files and save. And now we can close off this text document because we don't need it. If we go to our C drive and go to our task MGR folder, if you look here, we can see there is our bat file inside here. I say bat file because it's dot bat, but it is actually a batch file, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's move on to the start button. And what we're going to do is type out task scheduler here. So we're going to go open up the task scheduler. And what we need to do is go basic task. So create a basic task, and this will open up the basic task window. Call it task MGR here. And that stands for task manager and then go next. And now we can do this as when I log on. So put the radio button in there and now click next. And then from there, we need to start a program. That's correct. So go next. And from here, we can now browse through our program or script. So we're going to browse to our freshly created batch file here in our C drive. Go into here, look for task MGR here folder that we created. And there is our batch file click open and now we've got the file in that path now that's done we can now click next and once that's done we can now click on finish once that's finished we need to see where the actual file is for the uh, task manager here there it is here so i can double click on this and open it you can say it says ready so it's ready to run from here i'm just going to run this with the highest privileges here so just put a check mark in there and we can change the configuration to Windows 10, but it also means Windows 11 as well. So it works on both, okay? And we could just look through here for the triggers and actions. All the rest is okay. We can leave this as default. That is perfectly fine. And once we've got this done, we can click OK and close this off. Let's go ahead and click OK. And what you need to do now is close off the task scheduler here. And you can now restart your PC. So go ahead and restart your PC. So I'm just going to quickly restart. I'll cut that part out to save you time. Once we've restarted, we can go down to the bottom right hand side, our system tray and drag this onto our little uh, system tray here. And you can now see down there, there's a little task manager here saying CPU, memory, disk and network. That will give us all of our CPU memory disk and network usage right down there on the system tray. You do have to hover over it to see the results, but that's just quick and easy to do. But I hope this video has been some sort of use to you, a very simple and easy method. If you want to see other different methods uh, for this type of thing, then let me know. If you want to see a more physical thing on your taskbar or, or system tray, then let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to make those videos for you. But it is still quite useful if you're a gamer or if you want to just keep an eye on your system temps and stuff like that. There is loads of other ways of going about doing this with different other things. So let me know 
what you want to see next. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall see you in the next video or on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.